Hi friends, my name is Ankur Jain and welcome back to Tax Upper channel. Today in this video, we are going to cover a very most important, you know, aspect of the Oracle Integration Cloud, which is subscribe SFDC business events in Oracle Integration Cloud with the help of SFDC adapter. So let's get started and see how we can achieve this in OIC. So basically, what are the business events in OIC, the SFDC business events? SFDC business events allows OIC process to trigger via outbound messages mechanism. So when we try to capture business events in OIC, there's a mechanism called outbound messages mechanism, which allows us to capture SFDC business events into the OIC. So here, OIC just need to subscribe those event and get the messages in real time. And once the event is received in OIC, the message can be sent to any one of the application in the world. So the integration between SFDC and any downstream application can be happen in the real time. So what are the business, what are the benefits of business events in OIC? So event allows real time synchronization of data in various application in the organization. It just required two steps to capture events in OIC. It reduces risk of data loss. And it allows successful or the failure callback <coughs> instantly. So what are the prerequisites to capture business events in OIC? We just need a sales for instance we would be requiring a Salesforce connection in a OIC and we would be requiring a outbound visitor from the uh, from the Salesforce team so that we can capture business events on some particular objects. So a Salesforce connection we have already uh, seen in my earlier video. So you can look into this video and see how we can create a connection. So in this in this video, we are going to see how we can create business tools and the outbound messages in the SFDC first. Then we'll extract outbound visual from SFDC. We'll subscribe business events in our OIC and we'll send the data to the ATP database. So let's see how we can achieve this. So here, first I have logged in into the Salesforce in order to create business tools. So from here, in the quick find box, you just search business or you can zoom search rules over here okay so there are workflow rules so <laughs> workflow rules we need to create here you can click on a new rule button in order to create a new rule and then you have to create a rule on some particular object of a sfdc so i will select opportunity object here and then click on the next button so here you have to give a rule name. I'll say opportunity opportunity rule. So here you see we have multiple evaluation criteria which we can use like created. So when you wanted to work for rules, so if the opportunity is created or if it is created or every time it is edited or created and any time it's edited to the subsequently meet criteria so we will use a third option and we will make a criteria i'll say if stage is equals to i will say prospecting and then insert selected so what will happen this workflow rule will be has been created on the opportunity object and the evaluation criteria is every time the opportunity is correct created and every time it is updated to meet subsequent criteria like stage and the stage should be prospecting so now just save and next and then you wanted to add a workflow action on this workflow rule when the this workflow rule will get made what action you want to take so here you can say I wanted to fire a new outbound message. Just click on this. And then here <coughs> you have to give the up 
outbound message name my op outbound just tab and the unique name will come automatically here you have to give the end point url on which you wanted to send this outbound message for the time being i'll say www.google.com and then here you wanted to select the fields which you wanted to give in your outbound message so i will select all the fields and then add now just save now here you see i have created a workflow rule as well as the outbound message then done here you need to <coughs> activate this workflow rule activate now this has been activated okay now as i mentioned i would be requiring a outbound message in order to capture the business event so here i created this outbound message my op outbound just click on this and from here just click for a visitor so here you see the outbound visual has been loaded now just save it as a dot visual file so i'm just saving this wf outbound dot visual and then save so what i have done i have created a workflow rule as well as the outbound message and fetch this outbound visual now just go to the integration now here i will create an integration now i will create a app driven orchestration like this and i will keep the integration name as capture sfdc events i'll say capture sfdc events and then simply click it on the create button now here i'll select my sfdc adapter which we have created as a sfd salesforce adapter connection and here i have to give uh, the endpoint name i'll say get opportunity and then select next so from, from the next screen you have to select the outbound visitor so i have just selected this the outbound visitor which we have exported in my earlier step just next and in this next section you can send a response you can configure a successful callback message or you can send a Failure response for the time being. I just unselect it and then next and then done. Now I wanted to send this message to the my ATP database. Just I will drop our database connection over here and I will say insert opportunity and then I will perform an operation on a table as an insert and then next here I will select our admin and then search the tables i will select opportunity table and then import tables and from here simply next and then done now i will map the data from my sfdc to the atp via this mapper here so you see we have we will receive a notifications under this we have notification and just expand this opportunity and map the fields which is required like id okay for the time being i have mapped the id the opportunity name and then amount and then stage and then validate it and then close save your integration and then activate so here you see the integration has been activated just click on this particular link and get the visual url till last slash okay now you have to update my outbound message now just go back to this outbound message and, and add it and here you just change the endpoint url which the actual visual url and then save that's it now just try to create an opportunity 
just come to this opportunity and you say a new opportunity here a pop-up will come up i'll say opportunity name my demo opportunity and then from here you can put an amount 1200 and the closing date is a mandatory you can say 22nd and then a stage is the prospecting if you are staging will be prospecting then only you will be able to hit the workflow rule now just save now here you see one opportunity has been created now go back to the integration and here you will see the integration you should get a hit on this capture sfdc events you see this integration got executed and now it got success now go to the atp database and just try to run you see now the name the opportunity name and the amount and the stage has been inserted into the database so this is how you can capture events into the voice guys i hope you like the video if you like the video please like comment share and subscribe my youtube channel you can see me over linkedin twitter facebook you can see my blog https colon slash slash www.taxsupper.com thank you for watching the video have a good day bye bye